In this session, I'm going to talk about the role of a women's rights activist. This role would fall under the category of a social worker. So if you haven't watched that video, it may make sense to do so and then come back. Now to set the stage for this video, let's look at some recent news headlines. In Saudi Arabia, if you are a woman, you cannot drive. This article describes what Manal Al Sharif felt the first time she sat behind the wheel of a car. This is what she has to say. You know when you have a bird and it's been in a cage all its life. And when you open the cage door, it doesn't want to leave. It was that moment. Interestingly, Manal's moment of hesitation didn't last long. She pressed the accelerator and in an instant her car rolled forward. She spent the next hour on the road with a friend using a camera to record the journey. This next story involves a young student and education activist. Extremists had banned girls from studying in the valley where she lived. Unhappy with the state of affairs, Malala wrote a blog describing her life and outlining her views on promoting education for girls. She was shot in the head and neck while returning home on a school bus. Thankfully, Malala survived. She has since been nominated for the International Children's Peace Prize by Desmond Tutu and the Nobel Peace Prize. This final example focuses on seven child marriages that were prevented just in time. In all the incidents, the girls were between 12 and 16 years and the boys between 20 and 25. These girls were prevented from going to school and rather being forced into marriage. As the above examples demonstrate, cultural attitudes often put women and girls at a lower status than men. This discrimination often starts at the time of conception. Female feticide and infanticide, for example, are a major social problem in many countries around the world. This cycle continues through the life of girls and women, where they find themselves discriminated against in almost every sphere of life. It could result in lack of access to education, information, nutrition, job opportunities, or even access to justice. There is no place in the world where this does not exist in some form. The key aim of women's rights activists is to address these issues which stem from inequality and discrimination. We can look at the work that women's rights activists do at three levels. At the most basic level, which is that of the individual herself, activists will try to assist women and girls with the problems that they face. It could be assisting in education or health or helping the individual get information or gain access to something that she may require. This could also involve activities such as counselling which require professional skills and expertise. At a community level, activists will work with families, communities and societies to change their attitude towards women and girls. One of the ways of doing this is to carry out awareness work with men and boys as well as with leaders of communities. At a broad level, women's activists lobby and engage with institutions that are responsible for creating policy. They will work with legal systems and the judiciary. They also work with government agencies to influence women's rights and equality. Now let us look at what educational qualifications are needed for this role. Women's rights activists come from a wide range of educational backgrounds as it is driven by a personal commitment and not qualifications. However, several agencies do give preference for persons who have completed a degree or diploma in gender or women's studies. 
Alternatively, it could also help in doing a social work degree and choosing gender studies as an elective subject. Now let us look at the prospects this role offers. Women's rights activists have diverse prospects. They could work with NGOs, as counsellors and even teach courses on gender or women's studies. They could also work as researchers or with government agencies, assisting in bringing a women's rights perspective into policies or laws. Alternatively, they could also work with international agencies like the United Nations. Please note that these are just some examples where women's rights activists work.